We're exploring conversation as a pedagogy for learning in the activated classroom. Um, there are many useful tools, conversation is embedded in many places, but it's an excellent thing that enables us to engage our students at a higher cognitive level. And in this particular lesson, we want to look at a very powerful tool that's called HipChat. It takes a little bit more setup, but it's extremely powerful to use and has lots of features once we get going. So this is HipChat. It's www.hipchat.com. That's all nice and free, as you can see. There is no cost. And it's, it's a very powerful web-based application, but there are also apps that can be downloaded. As you can see, they have downloads for Apple, Android, Microsoft, and even for Linux. So it's a very powerful application. Works really great on any sort of device, but quite simply, it works just on the web as well. Simple to, to use. It takes a little bit of setup, but once it's up, it has a lot of functionality. So hipchat.com, and then all you need to do is click Start Chatting. It's free. And at this point, you now need to set up an account. It, it links people who have a similar uh, email address, so that can be done e easily if you all belong to one domain, but it's not necessary. So you just, from this point, follow the instructions and log in with all your details. And once you've put in all your details, you will get uh, a notice that says you need to confirm your email address, so you will then need to do that before you can finally log in. So once you have clicked on the verify email, you will be brought to this page. Uh, you have an option of joining an existing team, that's if someone's already set it up, obviously you will be setting up for the first time, so we're we creating an environment for our team or for our classroom, so we're going to choose create a new team. And now you give it a name. Now this is a domain that's going to be for everything you do. So you can create lots of rooms inside of this one sort of what they call a team name. So you might want to give it your name or it's your subject name or whatever it is. So it's one name that's going to, as you'll see soon, is going to be the domain that everyone in your class and all your classes can come to to join into the chat. So think of something that's going to be appropriate here. Obviously, it's going to need to be unique. So if you chose something like this, which is obviously quite generic, it's going to come up and say that's not unique. So you're going to have to try again. So once you've typed in a name, that uh, is OK. You'll get a little tick. And you simply hit Create New Team. You, you now have the opportunity to immediately add your class. Obviously, they, they're going to need an email address if you want to add them all here. You don't need to add any members to your chat room at this point. So you've got options here, so you could put all of the names and details. Alternatively, you could just send them the link. So if they've got this link, you could just email it to them, and that would bring them straight through, and they would then register and would be able to carry on. So at the moment, I'm not going to worry about adding anyone. We're just going to go next to, to move on. And there you have it. Your chat room is up, and there's already some chatter coming through, which is all from HipChat. They're welcoming you. There's a video telling a little bit more. Um, there's some Twitter little tweets coming through here. So really quite simple from this point. Um, the My entire area, I've called it activated. So whatever you call JAWS is what this chat room is going to be called, or your not just your chat room, the, chi the in entire channel. So whatever your name you've got here, .hipchat.com is going to be your channel or your chat room area. And on the left here, you can create multiple rooms. So this is where the option is to create rooms, and this is where you can invite people to your room. As we saw earlier, we've got a link that we can send straight through to other people who we want to join in here. And this middle area is our chat area, and over here is where we type. So at the moment on the right, you can see not a lot of people in here, uh, just myself. I'm the only one there. It, if you do hover over any of the names over here, you will see more about them, where they're available. I'm the admin. Again, you can invite people to join. Uh, I particularly like uh, some of these features along the top here. This one allows you to turn notifications off uh, or on, or depending what you like. So what happens is when HipChat is running, you can be doing other things on your computer. And if someone makes a post, it's going to beep or do whatever, depending on your settings here. So those are for your notifications. Um, these other options here, this one set basically just shows you who's in the chat room at the moment. Um, the second one shows you if anyone has uploaded any files. 
So that, that's a nice quick way of getting to any files that could have been attached during a conversation. If you look down the bottom here, you'll notice that there is an attached symbol. So it is possible to attach a file or a document to any post. Um, also, you can see if anyone has posted any links. So if they shared any links in the conversation, that'll also be listed there. And then there's a whole lot of other options. Um, and one of them which is quite useful is archiving. Uh, I mentioned this in our previous uh, app that we were looking at, talk.io, that there is a lot of value in archiving or storing your conversations because it allows your students to have a reflection. And so even though sometimes conversation is very strongly and closely aligned to uh, the pedagogy of chaos, rather the top of an activated classroom, sometimes where the real retrospective sense comes is when we let our students reflect. And there's a lot of power in that, that you can go through the conversation with them or encourage them to go through it by themselves to see and reflect on how they answered or how various people answered in the discussion. So that's basically the basics of uh, the chat room. And we will just look at the process of creating a particular chat room within our area next. Right, to create a chat room within your account area, I'm the activated classroom here, and I want a room in my classroom. Just simply click create a room on the side, and then all you need to do is give it a room name. So let's give this a name. And then we can actually, what is the topic of this particular room? Right, you've got uh, two options. Uh, access is an open room, means anyone can join this room and invite others, or a private room, only people invited to this room may join. So you, you may want to keep it as that. This is what makes uh, HipChat particularly powerful. You do have the ability to control who can access the room. So make your choice here, and once you are ready, I'm gonna keep mine as an open room at the moment, uh, just click Create Room. And so here we have our room. It's kinda empty at the moment, as it says. So at the top here, uh, it's got conversation pedagogy, how conversation can be used in teaching. We can create more rooms, and when we've got multiple rooms, we can just click them down the side to see them. And over here, we've got all the options that we explored recently. So at the moment, I am the only one in this room. And if I want to invite other people or share this room with them, I can ask them to join you at this room simply by clicking that. I can send them a message and they can then click on the link to come into this room. So it's really quite straightforward. But what I like is that once the room is set up and the conversation begins to flow, it is easy to come back and grab that conversation at any stage. And I'll show you an example of a very busy room that I was involved in recently and how that conversation flows quite dramatically in that room. Here is a chat room that I set up and used it with my university students. And we had quite a vociferous debate discussion going on here. Uh, as multiple of them were debating me and my colleague on a whole range of topics. Uh, just something that's useful when you are speaking to a whole lot of people, I tend to use uppercase. Now, typically uppercase in uh, online environments is considered to be shouting. I explained to my students that's not what I'm intending this time. Uh, I do it so that my comments will stand out in the flow of the discussion. So it just makes it easier. Uh, my colleague as well, she was also using the uppercase so that our comments would stand out. So that's just one little hint that you can use if you are trying to get your comments to stand out if necessary. Uh, you could possibly use uppercase. As I said earlier on the right hand side here, you can click this and you can see files. So here are files that were uploaded as part of this. And obviously you can click on any of them to see what the file was. Yeah, so I can see what that file is, and you can obviously you download it if you want, so it's really nice for your students to get hold of any of the files. If there were any links, they will also be displayed here, so that's a really nice way that you can come back afterwards and harvest the links or the files that were attached to post. Also, when you go back to whatever your area is called, when you click that, at the moment, we're just in a specific uh, chat room. You can see all the members, all the people who are part of your group. And obviously, it also show you who's online at the moment. So that's an easy way to see everyone that's in that class and who is online at any point in time. So at the moment, obviously, there's no one in this chat room except for me, which makes it rather lonely. 
So that's HipChat, a really powerful tool for engaging our students in the pedagogy of conversation. Now it's going to be over to you and a little challenge of something you need to do to get sucked into the conversation. Plus, I'm going to show you one little uh, cool feature with HipChat, and that's in the next lesson where it's over to you to do something with conversation as a pedagogy.